Mana TMC here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a grandfather clock. So, it's a really simple recipe, well not recipe, I guess like materials that you need to build it. All it is is just two dark oak wood doors, four oak wood stairs, one dark oak wood stairs, uh, item frame, uh, a clock, an oak fence, and a cobblestone wall. So, uh, these are really easy to get. Um, so... I I really was thinking of like a cheap design for this build. So what you want to do first is get two oak stairs just like this. I'm going to place a cobblestone wall, an oak fence, take dark oak wood door and place it like this. So it ends up like this. So you want to stand right up against the fence post and the cobblestone wall and place it right there like that so it's like this and then you want to put the uh, oak wood stairs here just like that and then here and you want to jump up and put that there and then put the item frame here and then just set your clock there and uh, there you have it there's your grandfather clock and um, let's pay to watch it for this video um, I'm thinking of build making the I mean bleh, making the mega walls video uh, today maybe later in the afternoon. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better from my sickness. Um, if I still sound a little bit stuffy. I'm still recovering. So so the next survival series for my YouTube series uh, I mean the survival episodes um, I think are gonna be uploaded maybe this weekend maybe tomorrow or. Actually, I'm not sure. I think I might be gone for, like, about five days. So, if, if you don't see any uploads by me in, like, um, uh, three days or for a while, I'll probably be up in, like, um, at my grandma's house or something. Otherwise, that's um, pretty much it. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video after uh, my Christmas break. Bye. Hey guys, it's Mana TMC here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a modern day bookshelf, just like this one. So it's a really simple design. Um, it's a little bit expensive if you haven't gone to the Nether yet. So all it needs, all you need, is seven bookshelves and seven quartz stairs. So let's get started. So we're going to take three bookshelves and make a backwards L shape, just like that, and then make a cube shape just like this and then you want to take a court stairs like this actually let's do this side first like this and then luckily I brought some dirt to help us so like this and then this and then there let's cut that down then you gotta go like this so it gets the right shape and then make sure it's creasing and then oops sorry place this last stair there move the dirt and that's pretty much it uh it's a really simple build now um, to me it's not that expensive um it just looks really nice in, in like a modern day house or like in any like general house i think it look okay it depends on your opinion like but yeah you can also have the bookshelf instead of like this or you could do something like this or like you can tilt the stair like any other way i guess but otherwise that's pretty much it for this video uh thanks guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye Hey guys, it's Mana TMC here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a small flying machine. So let's get started. So you're, what the first thing you're going to do is place two dirt blocks. Then you want to place a sticky piston, and then a piston. So you're going to need like a small wall, just like this, uh, for it to launch. So then you want to place a slime box on the these two sides so I'm just you need to break these two dirt blocks below the pistons before you place the slime box 
Just make sure to remember that. So then you need to place a redstone block here on top of the slime block. Same with the other side. Then just place a piston. And there you have it. There's your small flying machine. So the redstone current is going back and forth constantly, which is making it move. And the slime block is making this pushing piston move forward. So the reason why it's all connected is just because of the slime blocks. And the redstone is flipping through. Yeah. Redstone signals to these two pistons, the one in the back and this one. Yeah, and every time it moves, it pushes this piston. It also, which also makes this activate this piston, and then the current retracts to make it retract, and then push again, just like this. And you got a constant flying machine, and it'll go on forever. I think it's an okay way to travel. Um, satellite prime minecart yeah i think it's a little bit less expensive if you lived right next to a swamp i mean like in my survival world well not the youtube survival world that i've been using i have another one um i've built like a bunch of these and like yeah across my world but then i destroyed them because like something went wrong and then um yeah but otherwise that's pretty much it for this video uh thanks guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video hey guys it's me and tmc here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to build a fish tank so let's get started all right so this is what you'll need two fish of your kind two item frames 10 wooden trap doors two blue hardened clay two vines uh uh either cyan light blue or blue stained glass yeah four green hardened clay and four yellow hardened clay. So let's get started. So one, two. So we're gonna make the base and you know, like the windowing and stuff first. Well actually we not we may not make the windowing first. We're just gonna make the frame for it right now. Then you have to place this here. Fold this all up. Fold this. And then Go up here and then place these two. Okay, so now we need we gotta break these two blocks underneath here so you have something like this. Just like this. The next thing you wanna do is place these two. Put the fish of your kind in there. So tilt them the way you want them. Yeah. Then you want to place vines like that. And you want to take yellow hardened stained clay and just go like this. And then you want to take your two stained glass and just put them like that. And there you have it. There is your fish tank. So um, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure and uh, to check out in the description uh, my Patreon, uh, if you want to see me on there, uh, I'll tell you what to search and stuff to find me on there. So, but, um, thanks guys for watching.